opening night. The rumors are flying. We have discussed this for a while now, especially uh, with the Celtics being the champions and the Knicks having the best offseason in the NBA, which is undeniable. Knicks had the best offseason in the NBA. Uh, Knicks versus Celtics opening night is the rumor. According to Celtics, uh, I believe this is Green Runs Deep. Celtics Green Runs Deep. People say this guy's a credible source. A lot of people are corroborating this. This guy's he, he, he's credible. Knicks versus Celtics, October 22nd. Knicks heading into Boston as the Celtics raise the banner. This is what we want to see, ladies and gentlemen. Get it popping right away. Rip the Band-Aid off, and let's see where we stand. Let's see where we stand. Brunson, Randall, Bridges, and Anobi taking on. Tatum, Brown, Chris Stapps, Drew Holiday, and the gang. This is what we want to see. Let's get right to it, man. Man, I'm hyped. I am hyped. This, this, is the only, this is the only way. This is the way. It is the only matchup that the league and Adam Silver, man, they want to get that bread. They got the new TV deal on the horizon. Let's get it going, man. Two of the Eastern Conference powerhouses going toe-to-toe. So I'm very, very anxious to see this game and see uh, just an early glimpse, at least, on how the Knicks will stack up with the Celtics. Aiden Wilson, let's spoil the ring ceremony. Absolutely. You know Brunson and the gang will be ready. Hart will be ready. OG's going to be ready. Macau Bridges, man, very excited to see that. And you know what? When we talk about this Celtics team and how the Knicks are building their team, because I, I, I still think this team is going to be a work in progress in terms of their build. I look at this Celtics team, I, I do, as, as a measuring stick, as a bar. And while some people, when they, not necessarily criticize the Knicks build, but when they take a look at it and say, well, you shouldn't just be building to play the Celtics. No, that's true. But the Knicks are building something that is sustainable that can beat any team. Not just the Celtics, but when I look at the Celtics in particular and why I say that they are the bar, they are the bar because of the way that they have been able to come together and win that championship. There was a lot of sacrifice. And when you have so many names and so many guys who can be the respective guy at any given time, there's a lot of sacrificing that has to occur for you to win. And the Celtics were a classic example of that. And they were dominant over the course of the NBA season. Historical in net rating. So the way that they were able to come together, sacrifice for each other, should be emulated by these New York Knicks. Because that is going to be the ultimate question for the Knicks as they approach this season. We know individually what these guys can bring to the table. But the growing pains will come in the realm of how they sacrifice for each other. Who's going to take a step back to make sure that the next guy eats? That's going to be key here. So for the Celtics, and, and, and I also think that was why the Tatum conversation was comical to me because everybody wanted to see this guy play like, you know, the best in the world, the MVP, this, that, and the third, but he didn't have to. He did not have to because his team was so deep with Holiday and White and, and Brown. But make no mistake, in the elimination game, when the Celtics packed the magic up, Jason Tatum dominated that game. You go back and look at the tape. He did his thing when he needed to do it. So that's going to be the key thing there for the New York Knicks as they, as they take on Boston. And what we're hearing is potentially... Uh, this October 22nd NBA tip-off game. That is going to be a Tuesday. And so, yes, we will have to get our ducks in a row. A lot of people asking about the KFTV watch party. What are we going to do this and the third? Hey, we're going to get to all of that. Once everything is confirmed, we will set it up. <laughs> 